Hello, this is Nir from JFrog Support, and today we're going to talk about how to set path-based permissions for a user or a group. So we go to our Artifactory instance, as you can see here, and let's say I have a team of RPM devs, and I want to give them permissions to specifically only really see the RPM repository, and even more specifically, um, only see this atomic, uh, seven slash atomic path, because that's what they're going to be working on. So I don't want them messing around with other other projects or other people's things. This team is only for this uh, seven slash atomic um, repository. So what we can do is, first of all, you need a user, which I've already created. We have this user, Alex, and he's in our team one group, which is going to be our RPM team. And so we have to create permissions for that. So we can give him read permissions and like, you know, deploy and such permissions, but how do we set it specifically for that path? And that's where path-based permissions come in. So let's talk about, uh, let's create a name for our permission, RPM devs. And what we're going to do is add our RPM repositories in here. And now what we see here in these include patterns and exclude patterns, these are the paths. Um, these are ant-like expressions to create a path or exclude a path from our permissions. So currently, the star star means that everything is, it's applied on everything. So what we want to do is, if we do something like this, this expression says only, uh, in these RPM repositories, only this path uh, will have the permissions that we apply here. And you can see that here. So that might sound a bit confusing, and here we'll, I'll show you. Let's add our user. You can also add groups whichever one you want, or both. Um, and we'll add our permissions. And now we'll log in as Alex. Oh, let's press OK on that. And so here now, we only see these RPM repositories, because those are the only ones we had permissions for. Before this, we had no permissions on anything. So we open this up, and you see of that giant RPM repository, we only see the seven atomic folder. And here we see the uh, information inside of it. So we only have permissions for this, but this is my, these are my devs. And there's this repo folder that I don't really want them to mess around with too much. Like it has this password uh, file and things like that. So what I'm gonna do is Let's go back to our admin user that can affect permissions. And so we showed how to do an include um, include on the path. Now let's do an exclude. So we go back to our RPM devs and we'll edit this. And these exclude patterns, we're gonna do something like seven atomic. Now it's important that I do this slash star star instead of just star star like this. And I'll show you why, but I'm going to add this pattern. So this path is excluded. Let's log out. And go back to Alex. And now theoretically this repo, uh, repo folder that we saw in there should be gone. And we won't even know it exists. I mean, you can you can give it you can set your uh, pass to or not your pass your permissions to have um you know read access on one but not delete and things like that. Um, so you could still see it but not mess with it. But currently, we don't see it because we removed all permissions from it because of the exclude pattern. And another thing is, we made sure not to do repo star star because that would have also taken out this repo data which we want to keep. That's why we did the repo slash star star. And that's basically it for path-based permissions. You can layer them one on top of the other, multiple permission targets on top, and really customize how you work with your, um, with your teams and your repositories. So that's all. Thank you very much.